Good evening my lovelies, welcome back to my YouTube video. Today I have a Shein haul for you and there's a little bit of a dark academia vibe to it, although I might be getting that wrong, it might be more of just a general academia aesthetic, I don't really understand the aesthetics, but it's very much my style. Unfortunately there are, as usual, because it is a Shein haul, a few hits and misses. So I'm gonna start with something that's a little bit in the middle. I think it is nice, it's just not for me. So this dress, is a kind of boho style it's got these lovely sleeves it looks very red on camera but it's more of a burgundy maroon type color very very autumnal and christmasy but i do feel that the shape of the dress is very summery okay i have absolutely no idea if i'm in focus right now i can't see that far away <laughs> into the viewfinder but this is what the dress looks like and i think you can probably tell what I mean by saying that it is quite a summery style, considering that the colour is quite autumnal. I mean, there's nothing wrong with wearing burgundy in summer, it's just, I tend to just wear it in the colder months. Um, but it is really, really pretty. It is a little bit big around the waist, it has an elasticated waist. And I went for, I suppose I sized up, I'm kind of in between sizes at the minute, but I went for the bigger option. Um, so I would say go true to size, or maybe even size down in this dress. Um, it's really hard to tell with sheer. Normally I buy what I think is my normal size and then it's way too small. So this time I ordered everything in a bigger size and I don't know how well it's gonna go. Um, so yeah, so this is still a really, really pretty dress. It is quite long. Um, I don't know if you can tell how long it is, but I would definitely have to wear heels with it. It's just not the sort of dress that I would want to wear heels with. So it will be going back. I also really don't like this really like boho-y hippie neckline it's just not for me i don't like these dangly bits i suppose the idea is that you could tie it but i think that looks like even more i think it makes me look a bit medieval and i just don't it's not it's not for me i think when you have bigger boobs as well this kind of neckline whether it's tied or whether it's this kind of open um v-neck i think it just can look a bit it can make you look a bit older than you are and um, i just think it's a little bit matronly and not that not that stylish on my figure but i do really like the sleeves so and i do like the length as well i think it is a very pretty floaty feminine dress it's just not the perfect dress for me at the minute and next we have something that hopefully you can see those dark academia or light academia or whatever academia vibes <laughs> a little bit more i think it's classic academia i think that's what it is um so this is a kind of like a golfing style jumper i suppose it's got that like diamond shape on it in this cream and beige color i don't like it um i really liked the look of it on the website but it's just it's not for me at all i think it's a really unflattering color on me and i just don't like the feel of the material it's just um it just feels quite poor quality i'm wearing it with this satin um it's supposed to be bias cut but i feel like it is more a line um but it's just too big on the waist, which again, is not a problem I normally have with Shein. Um, I think I've just got unlucky in this haul. I'm wearing it with a pair of heeled loafers just to add to the kind of academia look. I really like the color, but it's just a bit too big. And to be honest, I'm just not too impressed with it in general. I think it is a bit long for me as well. I want more of a midi length. And if I let it go, it kind of comes down to almost ankle length and it's just not what I wanted. But that's what this look looks like. I'm gonna turn this light off because it's very orangey. So I think this is probably the world's most unflattering dress. I'm wearing, first of all, this roll neck jumper from Silk Fred, which is a new addition to my wardrobe that I absolutely love. And this sweater vest, like long sweater vest, was styled with a black roll neck on the Shein website. So I decided to start with that way myself. I do not like it. Um, I'm wearing it with the heeled loafers again. You're gonna see a lot of those in this video, I think. It's just very, very unflattering on me. And I think it's probably a little bit big. But even if I got a smaller size, it would probably kind of sit like that. And that's still quite unflattering. I think for it to be flattering on me, it would have to be quite tight at the waist. And that's just not really the vibe that I'm going for with this style of clothing but yeah i just keep seeing sweater vests on people and just think they look really cool and i thought a maxi one might be the way to go for me but it's just um it's just awful isn't it <laughs> i have to say hats off to shein's photographers because i do not know how they're making these clothes look good i've been taking mirror selfies in between takes for my thumbnail and none of these clothes look good <laughs> on my camera so i don't know how they are managing it 
This skirt is the next item in the haul, and do you see what I mean now about the classic academia vibes? Just need to be going off to uni. I don't think it's unflattering, I think it actually is quite flattering on me. I think it is quite a nice look for work, and um, I'm wearing it again with the heeled loafers. But I just don't know where else I would wear it, and also it is just poor quality. Like It's all creased, but I don't think it is an item, I don't think it's material that I could really iron. It is nice though, I like the shape and I like the length on me, it's just where would I really wear it apart from work and would I even wear it to work? I'm wearing it with a beret, which I don't think I've put on <laughs> particularly well, um, but just going for slight Gossip Girl, Emily in Paris vibes with that. I, I mean I do, I do sort of like it, it's just the quality of the material which probably doesn't come across that well on film. That is what's put me off. I do really like the colour, I like the style because it is quite unique and I do like it with the berry, I think it goes nicely with the black roll neck as well. Um, but let me know what you think of this look. And we have some more knitwear for you. I'm gonna share a very useful tip with you now when it comes to shopping at Shein, just don't buy knitwear from them. They're really good for like party dresses or everyday dresses, um, but not much else, <laughs> to be honest. Um, so this knit, I actually bought it to replace my John Lewis cashmere one that I wear all the time. Unfortunately, I found a little hole in it and it's just, it is looking past its best now. So I thought I'll get rid of that and replace it with something similar. This is not the one. This is, it's like a fluffy looking knit, um, but it has none of the softness that normally comes with a fluffy knit. And it's just a little bit bulky for me. I prefer the kind of thinner, I'm gonna have to go for cashmere again to achieve that, I think. But that is also a tip if you are thinking of buying this skirt. It does look better, in my opinion, with the thinner, more lightweight knits than a chunkier one like this. I mean, it's not, it's not chunky, it just feels bulkier than what I'm used to. I do tend to go for thinner knits. But I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, really. It's just, I really love knitwear and I like it to be quite high quality. Again, nothing wrong with it. And actually something that I have noticed with this and the uh, like diamond style jumper that I wore earlier, they're both pretty good on the sleeves. Normally I find that everything's too long for me. I mean, these are too long, but they sit, when you pull them up, they sit nicely on the sleeve, like they're not falling down all the time, they stay put. Guys, I don't actually know what to do about this dress. When I tried it on the other day, I was like, oh no, it's really unflattering, it's too, it's like a sack of potatoes, I don't like it. But I've just put it on and I feel great in it. I don't know if it's because I've got my hair and makeup done now and I didn't the other day, but I actually really like it. So this is a cream cable knit jumper dress, which is something I have had on my wish list for ages and I've been unable to find the one. I know that if I keep this, I will wear it. I'll wear it all the time because I mean, it's dead comfortable. And um, look how good it looks with the knee high boots. I mean, I don't think I tried it with boots the other day, so maybe that's why as well. Maybe I'm just standing a little bit differently because I've got a heel on. It is big and maybe, maybe I should exchange it for a smaller size and that might cinch it for me. But let me know what you think of this one. Like I say, when I tried it on the other day, I was like, no, I hate it. But I'm really drawn to it now. Lately, when I buy new things or when I'm decluttering my wardrobe, my new thing is, similarly to Marie Kondo's Spark Joy, follow your heart. I think if you just follow your heart, like if you're having trouble deciding, then when you're decluttering, then you probably want to get rid of it. And similarly, when you're buying something, then you probably don't want to add it to your wardrobe. But in this case, my heart is saying, maybe you should keep it. Quick update, I just took the boots off and looked in the mirror and the dress doesn't look anywhere near as good, so it is the heel that makes the difference. But I would always wear it with heeled boots, so that works perfectly. So I think I am gonna exchange this one for a size down and just see if I properly fall in love with it. Remember what I said about Shein and party dresses? Well, proof is in the pudding. So I got two of this dress. I got one in black and one in green, which I'll show you in a second. This is actually the outfit I'm gonna to wear tonight. Um, I'm gonna wear it with a green bag from a previous Shein haul. And these amazing shoes, look at them. They are so, so pretty. I'll come closer to the camera so you can see them properly. These just give me like Sex and the City vibes. I love them and they come with a nice gold heel. I love green and gold together. I've actually got gold nail varnish on at the minute as well. And then the heel actually goes out so that it's wider at the bottom so it is more comfortable and then it's got this great big um, clear stopper on the bottom, which is a shame. It's a shame it's not gold, but um, I think that will, obviously it stops you sinking into like the cracks in the pavement or into grass and um, it's just more comfortable as well. These are just gorgeous and they're quite low as well. So I get that lovely stiletto look, but I get some comfort as well. I do actually have some heel protectors and some like toe protectors to put in them as well, because I'm not good at wearing heels anymore. So I will let you know 
at a later date whether those worked. And now for the dress. So as you can see, it has cut out style around the waist, which I find very, very flattering on my figure. I think if you have bigger boobs and bigger hips, then this is a really nice way to show off your figure without having to have your boobs out. I really like having mine covered up, to be honest. Um, I just, it's more my style. And having that little cut out of the waist, I think is just so flattering. It shows off your figure without feeling like too on show. Um, the nice thing with this as well, it's got like a little bit of tie ruching detail here. So it doesn't really show your tummy very much. Obviously the bit that's on show is not the part of your stomach that bloats, but if you do bloat, like if I push my tummy out, you can't really see that much and it doesn't make that difference. It doesn't make that much of a difference to the uh, bit of exposed skin. So. I really, really like this dress. Um, I wore the green one out the other weekend and got a lot of compliments. So it's definitely a dress that makes you feel very confident. It's a really nice midi length as well. It does have a split, but it's not like a crazy high split. It's a nice length of dress in general. And you know me, I don't really like having my legs out that much. And for the final part of this Shein haul, my final Shein haul of 2021, we have got the same dress in green. Obviously, I love everything about it that I loved about the black one, but it's in this gorgeous dark green colour, which you know I'm obsessed with at the moment. I also think it looks amazing against gold. I could keep looking at my nails against it like, oh, so pretty. Very, very flattering again. And I've worn it with my little Stradivarius mules that I wore all the time in summer. And I actually wore these with this dress the other weekend. And I just felt very like, 90s that is the end of the haul let me know what your favorites were my favorites are definitely the two party dresses but i'm also really surprised how much i love that um cream cable knit jumper dress and um, of course the green shoes as well i absolutely love them i will be keeping the berry as well because i don't think i can return it um, but i do really like it it's very nice so there were some hits in this video probably a few more misses <laughs> let me know down in the comments what was your favorite and i will see you next sunday at 6 p.m which will be boxing day so have a lovely christmas Bye.